Welcome to the 2024.2 new feature videos. In this video, we will look at GPU simulation improvements. Collision handling in GPU simulations has been greatly improved in this release. This outfit has a particle distance of 5 and has multiple layers of patterns. Compared to version 2024.1, the simulation in 2024.1 and earlier did not handle collisions for multiple layers of patterns. As you can see on the screen, the patterns were often overlapping or penetrating each other. In 2024.2, you can see that the same garment is simulated more reliably. Collision between patterns and patterns, and patterns and avatars is now simulated more accurately. We have also updated the simulation menu. Looking at the simulation type, animation, stable, which was used to record animations, has been added. Underneath the simulation types, there are now subtypes for both CPU and GPU simulation. This means you can now set the CPU and GPU simulation options for each of the normal, fitting, and animation types. Like before, the GPU settings will display as an icon with an empty arrow to indicate which is running. In previous versions, CPU and GPU simulation results were very different. From version 2024.2, we have improved the accuracy of GPU simulation, so that CPU simulation results and GPU simulation results are almost identical. As a result, it is now possible to do stable, complete, and fast work using GPU simulation. Next, let's compare the GPU and CPU simulations. By looking at the statistics in the bottom left corner of the 3D window, you can see information about the patterns used and the FPS rate. For the mesh, we have over 110,000 vertices in total. We'll start by simulating with normal default. The GPU is on the left, the CPU is on the right, and we'll show you a live recording with no speed adjustments. You can see the huge difference in speed, but the shape being simulated is almost identical. Next, let's simulate with fitting, accurate fabric. Again, the GPU simulation shows much faster results. This enables the nonlinear simulation option in the simulation properties and more accurately simulates the stretching of fabric properties so that the garment is simulated as it would be if it were actually worn. Finally, let's test with animation stable. You can see that the GPU simulation is much faster than the CPU simulation. Animation stable can be used when you need a stable simulation for smooth animation recording.
To check the stability of the GPU simulation's collision handling, let's pinch after simulation. Even though it is a three-layer pattern, the simulation is stable. One of the benefits of using GPU simulation is when you are creating dense clothing with low particle distances. Let's simulate an outfit with a long cloak like this one with wind activated. The video is not sped up. This is the simulation speed. Wind is applied quickly, with subtle wrinkles. Next, when animating a denser garment, GPU simulation allows for faster recording. This is the speed at which the animation was recorded in real time. Since this is a GPU simulation, note that the speed may vary depending on your graphics card, but it is significantly faster than recording with the previous CPU simulation. Note that at this time, GPU simulation does not apply to trim, soft body simulation. In previous versions, simulation information was saved in the project file, but from this version, GPU simulation information is not included when saving garment, project, and simulation properties files.